it's that time again. Children are moving on from us to school. And we perhaps looked after them for the last 12 months, two years, three years, four years, maybe longer. And they're moving on to someone, somewhere that with some, to someone that maybe we don't know very well. And we want these children to settle in quickly, not be stressed and gain from their new placement as soon as possible. So it's really important that we pass on the information that's going to help that teacher. What are the child's interests? How independent are they? Where are they with their learning and development? Have there been any interventions that we've put in place to help them with their learning? And the external professionals that maybe have been involved in the past. How do they like to play? What schemes do they use? That sort of information will ensure that the teacher can be providing for the child as soon as they arrive. Now, if you have good software, then you can provide some instant information off your system, perhaps development records, formative assessment or summative assessment graphs, for example. Uh, and then, of course, the safeguarding. Now, I was actually looking at a chart that I made in 2017, I think. It might have been earlier. I might share it with you. Um, and our software has moved on since those days. We didn't have Spark Safeguarding then. But you need to share your safeguarding concerns. Um, and uh, hopefully you can download a, a complete report with all of the well-being scenarios and what's been done about each of those in the past. So you can give all the information in just by touching a button um, and downloading it. Perhaps your parent software, perhaps they have an app and they can download everything for themselves, the parents, so they can share the learning journal with the teacher when they meet, perhaps for the first time. How you share the information, you can get keys. I'll put a picture of one in the video, um, which I found, find them really, really good. Um, and it's a good excuse to go to the school to pick the keys up um, at the beginning of the term and find out how the, how the children are settling. Um, so you could send them like that, sort of like a USB stick, except these seem to last much longer than a USB stick. Obviously, you can download it and give it to the parent and ask the parents to pass that on to the school, not the safeguarding um, information, of course. But you can obviously use this time to get some feedback from the school and um, cement that relationship that you have with the school further. Good luck with your reports. And uh, also for your new children that will be starting. So what ends, begins again. Bye for now.